Windows Vista has what's called a sidebar. You can see it over to the right hand side and the reason why it's a sidebar is that when you hover your mouse over it you can see that the bar right there starts fading into view. And on that sidebar they have what are called gadgets. Gadgets are added to provide specific information at a glance. For example you can see I got my time. I also have RSS feeds which are really simple syndication feeds. Basically just news headlines. As soon as they're available they can pop down in here in this little RSS gadget and then also some sample pictures. There are also additional gadgets you can add. I'll show you how to do that in the next training video. But for right now we're just focusing on the sidebar. First of all the sidebar is always going to be displayed on top of the window so you can't click if there's anything behind it to grab it. You may have to close your sidebar. So let's talk about closing or exiting your sidebar which are two different things. To close the sidebar anywhere in a blank area on the sidebar you can right click and left click on close sidebar and it disappears. So now I can move my trash can over here um, over to the far right and then next time I turn on my computer the sidebar will be displayed here but I won't be able to get to my trash can so I may not want to put it there for example if I start my computer or your computer's on now and you don't see the sidebar and you want to bring it up there's one of two ways you can do it first of all down here over to the right in the notification area remember on the training video the notification that little angle there where it says show hidden icons you can click on it to reveal all the icons that are hiding there including the window sidebar if I go ahead and click on it once it brings up the sidebar Again, let me come over here and right click and close the sidebar in case you don't see it in your notification area here. If you don't see it, you can come over here and click on the start button and click in the instant search field and type in Windows sidebar and you can see it's up here at the top. The one that I want is just the Windows sidebar. If I click on it, it pulls it back up for me. Come back down here again, the notification area. Remember the notification area are the programs that are currently running in the background right now, including my Windows sidebar. If I right click on it, I can also exit out of the sidebar. And when I click exit, it gives me a warning. It says, well, do you want to exit your sidebar? So it's not running in the background either. So if I go ahead and click exit, at least with this box checked, it'll start next time I turn on my computer. So there's some options there. And again, if I go ahead and I say exit, I click in my notification area, it's no longer there, right? So I can click on the start button, come up here and type in sidebar. In fact, maybe not even Windows sidebar, just type in the keyword sidebar and then click on Windows sidebar and it brings it back up. Now I want to check in my notification area to see if it's there and if it is I can go ahead and right click and just leave it there. I don't want to exit out of it anymore. I think we get the point on that. So I'll click off in a blank area. The other thing you can do is when you right click on the Windows sidebar you can left click on properties. You can also right click over here in a blank area on the sidebar and choose properties as well. Either way it just seems easier to do it on the sidebar here. So when I right click anywhere on the sidebar and then I left click on properties it brings up a few choices. I can start the sidebar anytime that Windows starts or if I don't like the sidebar at all I can uncheck that. Click OK. Next time when I turn on my computer Windows Vista comes up I won't see it over to the right. Sidebar is always on top of other windows. Well right now look at the recycle bin. I can't get to it. I can click on it all I want but I can't open it up. It's hidden now. That's why you want to make sure you don't have any icons hidden underneath this uh, sidebar. You're going to have to close it first before you can grab the recycle bin. Other things you can do is you can display the sidebar on the right or left side of the screen. If you have a couple of monitors you can display it on monitor one or two, three or four and then maintenance you can view a list of running gadgets and it will give you an idea of how to customize the sidebar and I'll show you how to do that. But for right now I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and I'm back to the problem here of getting to my recycle bin if I need to open it up or any other folder so I want to right click, close the sidebar and then I can click and drag the recycled trash bin out of its way. Okay, And then to bring the sidebar back open again is that if the program is still running in the background I can click on that notification angle and it opens up to display the Windows sidebar. Click on it, brings it back up. Or again come back to the start button, click in the instant search and type in sidebar and then click on the link and it brings it back up. Then what I can do is I can click and drag my garbage can as close to the edge as I can. You see how when I hover over the sidebar part of it's cut off or three quarters of it. I can still get to my recycle bin as long as I click on the well the one-fifth part of it as it were. So I can double click on that, it opens up my garbage can and I can go ahead and close out of that. So as long as it's part of it's revealed over here on the side I can open up any folder. So that's as close as I want to get to it without dumping it right underneath the sidebar where it's not accessible. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.